Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to learn how to get started with EMR serverless and creating our first transactional copy on write Hodi data lake. So the goal is to create a transactional data lake but using EMR. Uh, in my last videos, I have about 40 videos on Glue. I really love Glue and it's great for one-stop shop ETL workloads, right? Uh, but if you have um, a need for big data processing and if you're doing ML, if you're processing data for uh, machine learning, I think uh, EMR could be a great choice. The reason I have chosen EMR serverless is I don't want to manage servers, let AWS manage all that for us. So let's focus on learning how we can get started on building our first transactional data lake using EMR serverless. So let's get started. Let me share my screen. And before we get started, I have um, steps here. So in case if you missed the code and everything is given uh, on my GitHub section. All right, so let's get started. So the first step is beginners, you wanna come to the project directory and give some unique name for your bucket name. Again, we have to create an S3 bucket and all this has been created by a serverless.yml file. Simply put something unique name and then basically I'll walk you over the serverless.yml file. Here you can see we are creating an S3 bucket, right? Very straightforward, right? And here we are defining our service. Here we are using serverless version three. And essentially I'm providing certain tags here, EMR serverless. And again, tags allow you to monitor the cost. Here we are creating an IAM role and we are creating a policy. This policy ensures that you have um, you know, access to create a glue database, delete a database, create a table, et cetera, et cetera. So all the access related stuff has been taken care um, um, over here, okay? So how do you get started is basically first you give it a unique name. I have already given this is my S3 bucket name. Uh, again, the bucket name has to be unique globally, then come to the project directory and then deploy the stack. So you want to say npx sls deploy hyphen hyphen region US West 2. I'm deploying this stack in the US West 2. Hit enter and this will take time. I'll resume once the stack is deployed. So my stack is deployed finally and now I want to walk you over the code part. Uh, the, again, this video is focused for beginners um, only. So now basically we are going to create our very first hoodie data like right. So I'll basically want to keep things easy and not complicate anything for the beginners, right? So probably uh, again, this here, we are just defining a Spark session. We are creating a Spark session over here. We are going to submit certain arguments, right? So if the arguments, um, so we are saying that if the length of the arguments is equal to equal to one, we say no arguments passed and we exit out, okay? So we want to make sure that we basically pass certain arguments. I'll show you when, when submitting a job. Over here, we are defining certain standard settings. These are very basic settings that I'm using for the project. This is basically my output bucket. I'm gonna, if you observe here, sys.arg1, we're gonna submit that argument when we submit the Spark job, okay? Um, then if you observe over here in the config section, I'm gonna create a table called hoodie trips cow. This is a table that will be created when we submit a Spark job. In my data, my primary key or unique identifier will be a trips ID and my sort key or basically precom key would be a T um, stamp or timestamp, right? The code is very straightforward. Basically, we create a Spark data frame. Here you can see these are the columns. We call the function called create JSON DF. We basically pass in the Spark instance. We, we basically call the function get JSON data and, and basically we pass the list of column and this will give you a Spark data frame. Once we have the Spark data frame, all we are doing is we are basically doing a write into the data lake. So here we are using very basic settings, right? So I'm using an overwrite here, right? I'm giving it an S3 bucket, right? I'm using hive sync, which means I wanna create a glue database and a table, right? Um, then over here I'm using um, I'm using um, bulk uh, ingest. You can also use absurd delete based on your choice, but keeping things very straightforward. So now what you want to do is come to the project directory. Okay. And this Python file that you have, you want to drag that on the S3. So come to the S3 first, create a folder called scripts and click on the orange button. And then after that, go to the folder 
and drag your Python file that we had over here, okay? And click on upload. So that's done, right? So now we have our script on S3 and now we'll basically configure our EMR serverless. Just before we go to the EMR part, we have to go to Glue. So I'm gonna head over to AWS Glue over here. And we need to go to the database. And if you do not see a database called default, please make sure to click on add and then type the name as default and click on this orange button that says create database. I already have the default database. Please uh, make sure that, okay? Now come to the EMR. This is, uh, you will see EMR serverless over here and then click on that option. This will basically redirect you to a new tab. Click on manage application and over here, you, wish, you, should, you should not see anything. Um, so we're gonna create our application, right? So you, over here, click on this orange button, give it a name called data team, type as Spark, uh, choose the release version as 6.9 and everything else will be default and then click on create application. I have already created the application and now once you're created, click on the button that says start application. Now my application is in the starting state. Once the application has started, we'll submit our first hello world job and query the data using Athena. So let's wait for this to complete. So now my application is in the started state. Okay. Now click here. Now, uh, what we want to do is basically we want to submit a job. So we'll click on submit a job over here. Now on this side, we'll basically give a name hoodie cow. Okay. And um, then you will choose uh, the IAM role as EMR serverless S3 runtime role. This should be deployed via serverless framework. Okay. Now over here, we have to select the script path. So I will basically click on browse S3 and then we'll basically copy my S3 bucket name over here. That is hoodie demos EMR, whatever that is. And then I'll put it here, then click here. And my script is inside the folder called scripts. And then I'll select and click on choose. After that, here we're gonna give an argument. Remember, I was talking about that argument. This is where you would put that argument. So here, the argument would be the S3 bucket. So I'm gonna basically provide my S3 bucket over there. Okay, so that's that. And then the last thing is Spark properties. I'll basically choose edit in text. And this property is also given on the GitLab. So basically we're gonna provide these properties here. So conf spark jars, we are basically providing the path for hoodie spark bundle jars, right? And then basically the spark serializer as cryo serializer. Um, that's it. These are all the things that you need to do. And then please click on submit job. Now, once the job has been submitted, the job will be in the state called scheduled. And once the schedule here is done, then you would see it in the running state. And after about five minutes, roughly, you should see the job has succeeded. So I'm gonna refresh and now it's in the running state. I will res resume the video once the job has completed. And as you can see, now my job has finally succeeded and I can see the status as success. If I now ba basically head over to my S3 and here you can see I have a hoodie folder hoodie trips cow. These are my parquet or base file. And these are the hoodie metadata. Now at this point, if you want, you can simply run ad hoc queries by heading over to Athena. I will basically go to Athena. I'm in the US West one and I see a folder or a table called hoodie trips cow. I'll basically click on preview table. This should basically show me the top 10 rows over here. And here you can see now you have successfully created our first transactional hoodie copy on write data lake using EMR serverless. You see, it was that easy. No servers to no servers to manage nothing, right? All we did is a few clicks of button. We made a EMR serverless and we submitted our Spark job. It's literally that easy. Um, so if you really enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the thumbs button and make sure to share and, and comment on the video. And if you have any other question, please put your question in the comment section as and when I get time, I'll try my best to answer it. With that being said, please make sure to share this video with your coworkers and colleague. And if you find value, make sure to hit the like button. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. I'll create more contents on EMR, which will show you how to orchestrate basically EMR jobs uh, using step function in the next upcoming videos. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.